Top of the Rock is the observation deck at Rockefeller Center. It was closed for about 20 years because of an expansion of the Rainbow Room, shut down oh. its elevators. Mm -hmm. Now it's reopened to the public so people can go up and get one of the best views of the city. There's three decks, one is inside and one is uh, is partially enclosed, and from both of those you get a pretty good view, but the, the most amazing one is one that's all the way outside, you just go up and you can see all around you. It's, what, is it 70 stories up? It's, it's really high, you can see uh, the Empire State Building is pretty much right in front of you. And because it's enclosed, I guess uh, it's better than, say, the Empire State Building because you can go in the dead of winter and you can still get the great view. Mm -hmm. But even the outdoor observation deck is open in the dead of winter, so even though it's cold up there, you can still go up and get a great view. Are you able to take pictures? Yeah, you can take pictures. There's non-reflective glass on the enclosed level, and upstairs it's just totally open, so you can you can really take pictures really they have well. Those, do they have those little things? They do have the little viewfinders on, yeah. on the level with the, the, the second level up. I heard that they did something really nice with the waiting area. Because it does take, you're going to have to wait in order to get up there. Well, you don't really have to wait because there's an advanced ticketing system. Oh, so okay. you buy your tickets in advance and you have a time when you show up and you do go through pretty quickly. But they've really put a huge amount of effort into making sure you don't get bored while you're waiting for the elevator. There's a timeline style museum as you're walking through going towards the elevators and you learn all about the history of Rockefeller Center and then you get in the elevators themselves and it's, it's a, like a light show that you're watching when you're going up. They really keep you amused until you get up there. Now, apparently there's a special chandelier yeah. that you should make sure you see before you go The up first thing you see when you walk in is a big, huge chandelier about three stories high designed by Swarovski, which is one of the corporate sponsors of uh, Top of the Rock. And uh, it's the largest chandelier they've ever made, and it's really impressive. And one thing that they don't really point out, but if you look at it, you see it's actually Rockefeller Center upside down. Oh, really? Yeah. You think it's worth it? I think it's worth it. It is a little on the expensive side if you're going with a big family, but it's a great view and you get to spend quite a bit of time up there, so it's, it's a lot of fun. Thanks a lot, Ethan. So, for a great view of the city and beyond, go to the top of the rock. Tune in. Get out. Pick up your copy of Time Out New York magazine at your local Universal News. Look for Dr. Prager's Sensible Foods in the frozen food section of your local supermarket. Sensible food never tasted this good.